I gave it a four, a 40% chance based on eight anomalies that it shows um, of being uh, uh, technological. There's something moving through our solar system that shouldn't exist. An object that arrived from the depths of interstellar space and is breaking every rule we know about comets. Its name is Atlas, and as scientists gather more data, a disturbing truth emerges. This isn't just another chunk of space rock. It's something that may force humanity to rethink everything we believe about what's possible in the universe. A giant among dwarfs. Atlas is the third confirmed interstellar object to visit our solar system, but there's something deeply wrong with this sequence. The two previous visitors, Oumuamua in 2017 and Borisov in 2019, were relatively small, measuring less than a kilometer in diameter. Building-sized objects easily lost in the vast ocean of space. Atlas is different. At an estimated five kilometers in diameter, it's between 1,000 to 1 million times more massive than its predecessors. To understand how strange this is, imagine finding only three cars on a highway during years of observation, and the third being a giant truck. Statistically, we should see hundreds of thousands of small objects before encountering a giant. Dr. Avi Loeb, Harvard astrophysicist, puts it bluntly, the sequence we've observed, small, small, then massive, defies our expectations about interstellar object populations. But size isn't just about mass, it's about capability. An object of this magnitude could carry complex systems, multiple layers of technology, or even a crew. If it were artificial, it would have enough space for laboratories, propulsion systems, and communication equipment that smaller objects simply couldn't accommodate. The impossible trajectory. But size is just the beginning of Atlas's anomalies. Its trajectory through the solar system is statistically almost impossible. Most interstellar objects arrive from random angles, diving from above or below the plane where planets orbit. Atlas is different. Its orbit is aligned almost perfectly with the ecliptic plane, only five degrees of inclination. The probability of this happening by chance? Approximately one inch 500. But it gets even stranger. Atlas isn't just passing through the solar system, it's visiting planets in a precise sequence. On the 2nd of October 2025, it passed within just 30 million kilometers of Mars. On October 29, it will reach its closest point to our star. In December, it will make its closest approach to Earth. And in March 2026, it will pass by Jupiter. Loeb calculated the odds of this planetary sequence occurring naturally, about 1 inch 20,000. It doesn't prove intention, he admits, but it certainly demands our attention. What makes this even more intriguing is the temporal precision. Each planetary approach offers a unique window for observation and data collection. If it were a reconnaissance mission, it couldn't have been planned better. Chemistry from another world. When scientists pointed the James Webb Space Telescope and Hubble at Atlas, they expected to find typical comet chemistry. Water, carbon compounds, maybe some metals. What they discovered challenged decades of knowledge about comets. Atlas is emitting nickel, about four grams per second. This alone would be unusual. But what truly shocked scientists was the almost complete absence of iron. In all known comets, iron and nickel appear together. They're sibling elements formed in the same stellar processes and released together when a comet heats up. Atlas broke this fundamental rule. It's releasing pure nickel with no detectable iron. Even more disturbing, among the emissions, scientists identified nickel tetracarbonyl, a compound known on Earth almost exclusively from industrial processes and aerospace applications. It's a molecule so unstable that it rarely forms in natural environments explains a spectroscopist on the team, and it's never been detected in deep space. The ratio of carbon dioxide to water is also completely off the charts, eight to one, when normal comets show the opposite. It's as if the object were designed to operate under conditions different from those we find in natural comets. The jet that points to our star, perhaps Atlas's most visually striking anomaly, is its tail, or lack thereof. Normal comets develop tails that always point away from our star, pushed by solar wind. It's one of the most basic laws of cometary behavior. Atlas has a jet pointing directly at our solar center. 
Images from the Nordic Optical Telescope and Gemini South captured this impossible feature, a plume of material flowing toward our central star, defying everything we know about cometary physics. It's like seeing a river flowing upward, comments one astronomer. Technically, there might be natural explanations, but they push the limits of what we consider possible. Some aerospace engineers noted that such a configuration resembles a propulsion system, or heat shield, structures that could be used to control temperature or orientation during a stellar approach. The impossible stability. Another anomaly that has left scientists puzzled is Atlas's orbital stability. Despite releasing significant material, up to 150 kilograms per second at its peak, its trajectory remains virtually unchanged. For normal comets, gas release acts like tiny thrusters, pushing the object off course. Borisov, the previous interstellar visitor, showed deviations of up to 100 kilometers per day due to these effects. Atlas, less than 15 meters per day. It's as if it's immune to its own emissions observes an orbital dynamicist. The only explanation is extreme mass or some kind of stabilization system, the Loeb scale. Faced with these accumulated anomalies, Avi Loeb created a scale to classify potentially artificial objects. Zero represents a completely natural object. 10 represents a clear technological threat to humanity. Loeb gave Atlas a classification of four, a 40% chance of being technological based on eight distinct anomalies the object presents. It's a cosmic blind date, he explains. On the other side, we might have something benign or something that will change our understanding of the universe. We simply don't know. Other scientists are more cautious, but even skeptics admit that Atlas represents something extraordinary. Natural or artificial, says one astronomer, this object is forcing us to expand our understanding of what's possible. The critical window. Now, Atlas is approaching its most critical moment. On the 29th of October 2025, it will pass through perihelion, its closest point to our central star. This is the moment when any onboard technology would be most likely to activate. Solar proximity offers maximum available energy and the best time for maneuvers using gravitational assistance. But there's a problem. During this crucial period, Atlas will be hidden behind our star from Earth's perspective. Our best telescopes won't be able to observe it. It's frustrating, Loeb admits. The most important moment may happen when we can't see it. There's hope. ESA's Jewish mission, and potentially the Juno probe, could capture data during this critical period. But their capabilities are limited. Some scientists are pushing for emergency missions, small probes that could be launched quickly to intercept Atlas. It's an ambitious idea, perhaps impossible, but it shows how seriously the scientific community is taking this object. What comes next? If Atlas is natural, it will represent an extraordinary discovery about the diversity of interstellar objects. If it's something more, it will change our understanding of our place in the universe. In December 2025, when it emerges from behind our star, Atlas will be visible to amateur telescopes on Earth. Anyone with a 50 centimeter diameter telescope will be able to observe it. It will be a historic moment, the first time the general public can directly observe an object that may represent our first evidence of extraterrestrial technology. The truth is coming. Atlas isn't just another space object. It's a fundamental question about the nature of reality flying through our solar system at 55 kilometers per second. Its anomalies are real, its chemistry is impossible, its trajectory defies astronomical probabilities. But perhaps most significant is what Atlas represents for our species. For the first time in human history, we have an object that may be our first concrete evidence that we are not alone in the universe. In the coming weeks, as it passes by our central star and emerges on the other side, every observation will be crucial. Every spectrum, every image, every trajectory measurement could be the final piece of the puzzle that changes everything. The telescopes are ready. Teams of scientists work in 24-hour shifts. Special protocols have been established in case the object does something unexpected, a sudden course change, a radio transmission, or any behavior that cannot be explained by natural processes. If Atlas is an extraterrestrial probe, this could be the moment of first contact. Not in the dramatic way Hollywood imagined, but through scientific data, light spectra, and precise measurements that will reveal the truth about our position in the cosmos. And if it's natural, 
it will still represent a revolution. It will show that the universe is capable of creating objects so strange and complex that they challenge our current understanding of space, physics, and chemistry. Some scientists are already preparing papers that could redefine our understanding of interstellar objects. Others are developing new protocols for future detections. Because one thing is certain, Atlas won't be the last strange visitor. The discovery of Atlas has also raised questions about our preparedness for such encounters. Do we have the right instruments, adequate protocols, the rapid response capability needed? These are questions humanity never had to ask before. But now, with Atlas navigating through our solar system, they have become urgent and real. The permanent legacy, regardless of what we discover about Atlas, it has already fundamentally changed science. It has forced us to question our basic assumptions about what's possible in the universe. Before Atlas, the search for extraterrestrial life was primarily theoretical. Now, we have a real, observable object that may represent our first evidence of alien technology. This has changed the scientific conversation. Theories that were once considered too speculative are now discussed at respectable conferences. Funding for SETI research has increased. New telescopes are being designed specifically to detect anomalous objects. Atlas has also demonstrated our cosmic vulnerability. If it were a threat, we would have only a few months warning. This has led to serious discussions about planetary defense systems and response protocols for potentially dangerous objects. But perhaps the most profound impact is philosophical. Atlas has reminded us that we are part of something much larger, that our small blue rock orbits a common star in a galaxy full of mysteries, and that some of those mysteries may be coming to visit us. One thing is certain. Atlas has already changed science. It has forced us to question our basic assumptions about what's possible in the universe. And regardless of what we discover, we will never look at the night sky the same way again. Because now we know that among the stars, impossible things are moving. And some of them are heading our way. The future of humanity may depend on how well we can understand these visits. And it all began with a point of light moving slowly against the stars, carrying secrets that could change everything we think we know about our place in the universe. The truth is coming, and it's five kilometers in diameter.